Okay, today I just want to run through some of the different types of piston and failure that we come across on the Toyota 1KD engine. I think it's important if you've been told you need to replace your engine due to a piston failure that you actually get a visual on what that means. If you don't go through this every day, obviously, it can be a little bit confusing. It's a lot of expense, a lot of expense, stress, so it's nice to know. So the first one I'll grab is um, fairly common. It's a cracked end or hole in the piston. Um, what happens is the piston will crack directly across the top of the gudgeon pin. Compression, high temperature compression gas will then travel through that crack, exit out through the oil ring um, and erode a hole very quickly. This is the one where if you're travelling at around 80 to 100 k's without any warning all of a sudden you'll get loss of power, smoke in the rear view mirror, the engine will still start, shake violently, obviously no compression on one cylinder, you'll have a lot of blow by out the oil filler cap so that's fairly straightforward. When it blows the hole through there, it obviously damages the side of the cylinder wall. Um, as you can see, the hole. So yeah, that's fairly straightforward and it's a fairly common one that we come across. The next one uh, is also reasonably common. It's where we've had a high combustion temperature overheat. So you've had incorrect combustion, causing the piston to expand at the top, lose clearance with the cylinder wall, and pick up. So once it picks up there, it'll do a lot of damage, it'll clamp, clamp the rings in so you'll get no compression, collapse the piston, a lot of noise. Once again, running rough, lack of compression. Uh, that's, as I say, that's fairly common as well. The next one is not as common. It is where you get a head gasket blown between two cylinders. So compression gas will travel from one cylinder to the other, eroding away at the top of the piston, similar to an oxy. Okay, that as I say isn't as common but we still do come across it so uh, it's important for you to see it. The fourth one is where someone has had one of these problems and just continue to drive and push the vehicle. Okay, it is a fairly catastrophic failure as you can see. The, the, there's no, obviously no point pushing it to the extent this would have been making an incredible amount of noise, vibration, um, you may as well just, if you think it's a lot safer a lot, you know, it's a lot cheaper in the long run. Just pull over, get it checked, check it, whatever you might need to do. But there's no point driving it till you end up in this situation. Okay, so if you've had one of these piston failures, well, then the engine must be removed. The, you know, then it, it is, you know, there's op different options available. But the having a, a fully reconditioned engine fitted is is the most cost effective, best warranty, best way to go. There are different pistons available to be fitted to the reconditioned engine. This is the most common one used. Um, it, it's not what we use. I'll run through its characteristics shortly. This is what I personally use. We get these in ourselves. I've done a lot of research. I sell a lot of these engines. Seen a lot for a long time. This is by far the best piston available. The obvious difference are the, the friction coatings to the side, the heat treatment to the crown. But the big difference and the most important difference is internally. As you can see with this piston and with genuine pistons, the inside of the piston is quite different. The skirt thickness, but the big, big difference is the amount of oil cooling that goes on in the crown of the piston. The pistons have a different shape here and here. So there's a lot more oil that goes into the crown of this piston. What you have is an oil squirter down at the crankshaft that shoots direct oil pressure from the oil cooler straight up into this hole in the piston which circulates in the crown of the piston and then drains out through these other holes. It also drains through this hole, which as it passes, it lubricates the gudgeon pins. Genuine pistons do not have that. Um, that is by far the, the best and the most important. You can even see that's a genuine piston to the inside of it. This one also has had a high cylinder temperature overheat. If it had possibly had this piston fitted with the crown, uh, crown cooling, this may not have happened. So. This is you know, a very high quality piston, it's a little bit more expensive, but in relation to the cost of the whole job, it's well worth it. So if you've got any questions, if you need some help, by all means, jump on the phone, jump on our website. Whatever you need to do, just give me a call. I'll run through what options we can provide and we'll go from there. Wonderful.